guys, so today I want to show you how to cut layers. And I really don't recommend doing this on yourself, that's why I have Dirty Diana here. That's what I named my lovely little doll head. But yeah, she is just sitting up here on her little tripod. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut some very, very basic layers. Yeah, I'm recently a Paul Mitchell graduate, so I thought I'd show you guys how to do some very, very basic layers. And then at the end, or towards the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the bangs or fringe, just a couple different ways if you wanna cut your own bangs. Go right ahead, but I wouldn't recommend layers. But if you wanna cut your own layers, I'll, I'll show you that too. Okay, we'll just get ready. I'm getting right in, I'm right. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so my lady is parted off into four sections, and, She's wet. Sh -sh 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 Alright, so I have my first little section that I'm going to go ahead and cut. So again, this is just a very basic way to cut layers. And I'm just pulling up a section. Kind of looks like a little pie shape. And I'm going to create my starting point. So I'm going to cut off like half an inch here, just so you guys can see a difference in the cut. So here we go. Just cutting along there. Here's a tip I learned in school. Make sure you don't cut past your second knuckle because that's when you start bleeding. Alright, I'm just gonna take that starting point and kind of work it around the head. So, so basically when you're cutting layers, all you're really worried about cutting is the top half of the head basically because all this at the bottom, that's just your one length. Your layers are just gonna move all on top of your one length. So I'm already going into my next section and I'm just kind of taking that first section with me all along the head. So, just make sure you grab a little bit of the section ahead of you. So you guys should be able to see the section that you cut before the section you just picked up. So if you guys can see that blunt line down here and where the extra length is, like that half an inch, that's what you're cutting. If you guys can see that. There's a few hairs that are a little bit shorter than the length that I'm gonna take off. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut. So it matches that previous length. So I moved all the way around the head and I'm just at my last section here. Again, I'm just letting some of that hair just fall. I'm gonna cut. Ba bam So here's my little dolly now. I'm just gonna go ahead and style her out. And then the important thing when you cut fringe or bangs is you want to cut those when they're dry because that's when you're going to see the hair falling in its natural place and if you cut the hair while it's wet, pretty much when you dry the hair it's going to just shrink up. So if you cut it like here at her eyebrow and she really wants it at her eyebrow, don't cut it when it's wet because if you cut it when it's wet at her eyebrow, when you blow dry it's probably going to go up a little bit and she's gonna have those awesome, really, really, really short bangs. Uh, so you don't wanna do that. Or to yourself, if you're cutting your own bangs. Bang. Bang! All right, so I just blow dried and straightened her hair. I'll show you the side sweat bangs first, cause those are pretty easy, and I'll show you another way you can do bangs, which is also pretty simple. So what I'm gonna do right now is just take that section that she wants, Miss Diana. So what you wanna do is cut where there's tension, and I'm just going to go ahead and make little baby steps and just kind of create my first cut. You can also point cut your fringe to make it a little bit thinner. Again, removing some bulk. Sexy side fringe kind of swoops and goes down at a diagonal. So now for the other fringe. You can make it as heavy or light as you want it. And I'm just gonna get a little triangle right here on top of the head. Just a little section that's gonna fall forward. And now I have it about where <laughs> I'm so close to you guys. <laughs> All right, I have it about right in between the eyes. That's where I'm gonna cut. So I just grabbed the hair, a chunk of hair, and twisted it. Just cutting that chunk of hair. Just go at it. Keep cutting. And this is gonna create those blunt bangs that you really like, like Carly Rae Jepsen bangs. And what you can do even after that is go in and point cut any little hairs that might be hanging out. 
If you guys would want to see like a bang video or a fringe video, let me know in the comments below because there's like so many different kinds of fringe and bangs you can do and it makes such a different look. But yeah, I think that's pretty sassy, pretty cute. And the other thing you guys could do if you want to try cutting layers on yourself, I really don't recommend it, but you can try it. I mean, I'm all gung-ho about it, so whatever. I'd recommend using a razor like this though, not scissors because this is going to be a lot easier to do. And I would definitely recommend using this on wet hair over dry because it's going to hurt like a bitch if you do it when it's dry. But since this is a doll head, I'll go ahead and show you guys. You can go ahead and do the same techniques with a razor um, just by going in like this and chopping all that off. But that's still going to create layers and it's still going to create like shorter hair up here and it's going to be longer down here. So it's like the same thing. As long as you just move around the head, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. So if you are, <laughs> if you guys are wanting to cut your own hair, I don't recommend it. But if you do, I would definitely use a razor over scissors because it's just going to be a little bit more forgiving and easier to work with. There is my video on how to cut layers and fringe. Also, I was thinking about doing an Edward Cullen hairstyle tutorial because I pretty much could rock his hair. Like, I have that short of hair. I could totally do that. So if you guys want to see an Edward Cullen hair tutorial too, I could totally rock that. But yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, let me know in the comments below if there's any other videos you'd love to see, like hair-wise. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Whoa. I have scissors in my hand. Hello. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm wiping all the hair off her face. I would not do this to a guest. I really wouldn't. Like a paying customer, I would never whack their face and beat them. Uh, but yeah.